With Mocha Pro 4, we have a few new exporting options available to us and also some updated export changes, both for the tracking data and for the shape data. This means that we can take out shape data and use it directly within Adobe Premiere Pro CC. And we also have some updated ways of taking out data into Nuke. There's also a bit of a workflow improvement when moving data into Adobe After Effects as well. So let's look first at the shape data update. So I have my car here, which has a shape tracked in over the window my window mask so let's have that selected export out my shape data and I can now take this out to Adobe Premiere shape data and let's just copy that to the clipboard and move into Premiere Pro now with the release of Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2014 there's a new feature added that allows us to uh, to take an effect let's come in and find actually we'll just find a fast color corrector and apply that over there. So we can take our fast color corrector and directly add masks into this effect. So for example, here, let's come in and just darken that down. Let's delete our mask and turn off the color corrector for a second. Now that's great because that means that we can take the data we've taken from Mocha Pro, have our fast color corrector selected and either right click and hit paste or go up to edit and paste, and that will paste in my mask data directly in there. So if I turn on my color corrector one more time, that's now gonna black out that window for me. And we can come in and maybe make that not quite as, uh, not quite as dark, just the levels up a little bit. And if we want to come up here, we can always invert that as well. And if we take a look in the effects controls up here, you can see we've got keyframes for every single one of our frames that we've tracked in there. But a lot of this still remains live. So things like the mask feather, we can feather this out even more. Let's turn this a, a nice bright green so we can all, yeah, we go bright green so we can see that a bit better. So we can, yeah, feather this out. We can expand this or contract it as we, uh, as we need to. So really this gives us a load of extra flexibility when we need to apply effects just to certain areas on the image. We can use the mocha masks with a simple copy and paste just as we did in After Effects. If we take a look at our export tracking data here, because something has changed in the way the After Effects transform data now comes in. So if I click on After Effects transform data, copy that to the clipboard and move into After Effects. Let's add a bit of text in here. Well, let's, uh, be clever and call this one text. And I'm just gonna edit, paste the data into there. And I'm gonna hit U. And what we'd expect to see normally is we'd expect to see position, scale, rotation, and anchor point all keyframed here. But now we're not getting the anchor point anymore, which means we don't have to go through the hassle of going in and deleting the anchor point keyframes. Our data is good to go. And this was one of the things that was a little bit confusing to first time users of Mocha is that they bring in the data and you know, the stuff wouldn't do exactly what you expected it to. That's because you had to delete anchor points. But now, no more anchor points, no more confusion, everything's good. So Ben, I hear you cry. Uh, what do we do when we want to use that data for stabilization? You know, that is when you use the anchor points to, uh, to do the stabilizing. Well, this is what we do instead. If we come back in, well, actually, let's take um, a different bit of the road. Let's take this shape here, this track here, which is our road here, and export out that tracking data one more time. So After Effects Transform Data, let's invert it, copy that to the clipboard, pop back into After Effects, turn off our text layer here, come to our first frame, and now let's paste that data in here. So let's hit U. We've still got the position, scale, and rotation going in, but now let's have a look what the position's doing. Because we inverted that data in Mocha, that's now coming in and giving us a nice 100% properly stabilized image there. And you can see it stabilized because all of the stuff where it starts to drift out is now turning into sort of like the black edges there. So this is a nicely stabilized bit of footage here. 
So that's how we do the stabilize and no more headaches with anchor points. And one more thing when it comes to exporting tracking data, if I export this one here, I now have an option to export out a Nuke 7 tracker. So instead of just being able to export out Nuke ASCII or Nuke Corner Pin, we can now export out a tracker node directly. So let's uh, save that one. Call this Nuke Stabilized. And let's head into Nuke. Okay, so if we pop into Nuke, and let's come in here and we will import a script. And we'll import our Nuke Stabilize script. And it's coming through just as a tracker null. So let's just stabilize this road out. And we can then do whatever we need to do with that stabilize or match move. So we keep that flexibility, but it's just coming in straight as a, uh, as a tracker node. So we, we've got less work to do essentially. So when it comes to exporting, Mocha Pro is even more flexible now in the formats that it supports. And exporting shape data directly to Premiere Pro is also available in Mocha Plus, but not in the version of Mocha that's bundled with After Effects 